Hello guys, PredatorMemel9 here, and today is the last day of the Halo 5 beta, so I thought I might as well do a video of my opinions and thoughts about the beta and what I have experienced about the game. Now some of you say that the Halo 5 beta doesn't feel like Halo, but it still feels like a, a little bit like Halo to me, but there has just been a lot of changes to it that 343 did. To me, in my opinion, Halo 5 feels a bit a bit of a mashup of different games, for example Titanfall and Call of Duty. Firstly, why I think it's a big a bit like Titanfall because it's for movements and the, a little bit of the parkour you can do, especially when you can jump across from a building to a ledge. Like your spawn just kind of climbs up say for example you're just gonna run up to a ledge and you're about to fall but your spawn kinda climbs up for you so that's why it feels a bit like Titanfall to me, only a only a, like a small percentage of it, but it's not that big of a difference. But um, secondly, it also reminds me of Call of Duty, I'd say, because in Call of Duty you use aim and down sight to get an accurate accurate shot, and you can do the exact same thing in the beta and in have a Halo games, you click the right joystick to zoom. But I would say this is a really massive change to Halo because most of the time people are so used to actually using zoom to actually get a precise kill or precision shot on their enemy in any matchmaking game. That it's gonna take them a while. I would say it may take some some time for you to, guys to get used to this when the full game of Halo 5 comes out. But for some of you, you might be just be fast learners and this shouldn't be too bad for you. But for me, in my opinion, I'm I'm not too. I would say I kind of agree. Like I'm not too bad with the um, aiming down sights. I mean, I kind of agree with it. Like I find it okay. Like some of you might disagree with it, and you might not be comfortable with the aiming down sight. But it doesn't seem too bad to me. I'm comfortable with it. But some of you might have different thoughts about it. Now another thing, another little thing I would say, which is a bit of a mashup um, for the Halo 5 beta, in my opinion, would probably be the um, would probably be a bit of Destiny, only a tiny bit, because as you know, while you're sprinting during a matchmaking game, you can kind of slide across the floor. Now I don't know any other games you can do this on, like maybe, but I know that in Destiny you can kind of do that, sprint across the slide. And you can now do this in the beta, so this is kind of a new thing. But um, yeah, there's just a lot of changes have happened in the Halo 5 beta, which would like change the Halo community for like a while. Well, I'm not sure if it'll completely change it, but it'll just be miraculously changed. But either way. The game, in my opinion, is fun. I think the keyword for the Halo 5 beta multiplayer would be fun. Like, the game is fun to play, I will give you that. And it's fun to play with your friends, I would say. Because it's just... I would say the multiplayer is very competitive compared to other multiplayer games. Um, I would also say it's not too hard to get killed. It's pretty... I would say it can be easy most of the time to get a kill, only because of the aiming down sight. It's a very big help when it comes to getting a kill. So yeah, it's not too hard to get used to when you first play the multiplayer. You can easily get the hand of it. Um, another thing I would say, which I would like about the uh, beta, is the fact that when you um kind of go in the air and aim, you kind of stop, like, you're kind of stopped to mid-gliding in the air as you're aiming. Now, I'd say it's a bit helpful, but like I said, it reminds me a bit of a mashup of Destiny, because if some of you know the Warlock, you can do the same thing when you're in the air and kind of stop and aim. So yeah, those are prob probably my opinions and thoughts on the beta, but anyway, Thank you for watching guys, if you have any other opinions on the beta please comment below and please like and subscribe and take care and I'll see you soon.